Welcome back to my channel guys. So today I thought that I would do a little updated video just showing you some of the changes that I made in the Charmed Life Planner and what I will be trying out as I use that planner in conjunction with my personal rings um, for March. Um, and then I also ordered something else. So I'll be sharing that with you all on Thursday. Um, uh, mainly because I don't know if I want to stay in my personal rings. I love my personal rings, but I'm just at the standstill of, I may need a little bit more space for something that is happening. So I'll give you guys updates on that. Also, uh, I just wanted to show you guys my pre-decorated, um, currently in the progress of being filled out weeks and dailies. Um, so let's get into the video. So I'll do this one really quick, um, mainly because it's like, it's here, it's open. Um, <clears throat> so earlier last week, I had got this bright idea to kind of like do meal planning in these little boxes here. Um, and I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos, but you know that I already pre-decorated these spreads. So this is this week, and I did do a smaller box here with uh, just the meal plans in it, but I thought because that they're lines and these are divided down the middle, that um, instead of doing the same thing for next week, um, that I would just do it on one of the boxes at the very top um, because I don't really put too, too much in the weekly. So I thought that I would do like my meal planning in just one of the boxes and then just color code it out. So that's the only change with the weekly spreads that I have. Um, Nothing is in here right now. Mainly, like I mentioned, I don't put a lot in here. It's pretty much just like a catch-all. I just put the main things that I want to um, do or, or things that have to be done. I put those in here as like key reminders. But other than that, nothing um, outside of that goes in there. Um, for my dailies, um, I'm still doing the same thing. This was yesterday. If you want to see what last week looked like, all finished out. Um, definitely loved the whole sticker thing. I thought that was fun. This uh, was one of the spreads. I don't think you guys saw this spread, but this was one of the spreads. I thought this was really fun. I used a laundry sticker. And of course, I did a lot of color coding. I stuck with the moods and the water down below. So definitely this was a fun spread. It was just all over the place. And if you know me, you know that's um, what I like to do. And then of course, my birthday, I didn't have anything going on except for my husband took me out. Um, we went bowling and then we went out to uh dinner and we really didn't eat dinner because we had ate at the bowling alley so we really just went there for like appetizers and drinks but then something special happened um so um, in the midst of this day i found out that i was pregnant like the day after my birthday and i was feeling pretty sick um that day of my birthday i was feeling really 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 sick um, when I went to kind of just wind down for the day. And so um, the next day, it just I just had an urge to just take a test. So I took a test. I took a cheapie. And then I asked my husband to buy another test. And I took that. And lo and behold, I was pregnant. And not just like early pregnant. I'm pregnant, pregnant. So I had no idea that I was pregnant and so my birthday this little journal here that I wrote this will always be like a great reminder to me because 
I had no idea that I was pregnant. So that is one of the reasons why I may be jumping out of my personal rings and um, possibly into something a lot bigger. I have the Charm Life Planner, which is A5 size, and then the other um, notebook that I ordered is also a larger size within like A5. I think it's exactly A5 and maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but I may need a little bit um, more space. And that is because you guys know that I usually use my daily spreads for my own personal tasks, like things that I usually want to get done for myself. And so now I still need to write those tasks in, but now I need to keep up with a little bit more. Um, my last pregnancy, I had a miscarriage and um, it was a really bad miscarriage that resulted in me staying overnight um, because of a lot of blood loss. Um, so, oh, and also surgery. So um, that, that put me at high risk um, also. So this pregnancy, I need to kind of keep track of a lot more things. I'm definitely going to be keeping a food journal, a mood tracker, water tracker, and physical activity tracker. I need to be doing some sort of physical activity that is light and easy for me to do. So um, that's why I don't think that these spreads are uh, going to be big enough for me to keep track of all the things that I would like to keep track of. So as much as I love my personal rings, I don't think that it's gonna work. I don't know, we'll see. I'll try it out in conjunction with the um, Charm Life Planner, but if not, then it'll probably have to be switched out. Um, I got the stamps. Um, great friend Susie, planner friend Susie sent me loads of stuff and so I used that little stamp I kind of messed up because I didn't have it lined up exactly right but I used it and so yeah that is that um also I've been playing around with different spreads in here like different stickers um I usually put a little quote up at the top in this little box um but uh I kind of swapped that out and just decided that I would try out these little stickers here because we are still in February even though it's the last stretch of February so I thought that would be cool and then of course um, I didn't do anything to these last two days so when I usually set up my weeks I usually do about four days at a time or two days at a time and then um, after I get to like the third day, I start doing like another day because I hate decorating these pages um, as I'm like, as I'm planning. So I just kind of do them ahead of time. Um, let's see, things that are changing. Nothing's changing in the notes section. I definitely wrote down a bunch of pregnancy notes from last year and I kept those notes because like I mentioned, I was high risk last pregnancy and so there were a lot of different warning signs that I didn't know that was happening with me like the rash. And I know some people might associate the rash with pups, but I actually didn't have pups. Um, I just got a rash and it just broke out on both of my hands. And um, yeah, so that pregnancy, my last pregnancy was very, very difficult. So I wrote down all of the pregnancy symptoms that I should be aware of and always ask questions about at my appointments. So I have a long list of pregnancy notes and questions to ask my physician, my gynecologist. So that is that. Um, sad to say that this will probably be obsolete because this was all of the insanity workouts and you obviously can't do um, hit workouts when you're pregnant, not like Insanity where they shoot your heart rate up really, really fast. So um, Zumba is great. Dance workouts are super great. So I think that um, I'm going to be changing out, blocking out these and just starting like a different schedule of workouts 
for like Zumba, easy pregnancy workouts, walking, things like that. Um, and that's where my project sheets will come in play. Um, so that's the only updates that I wanted to give you guys in terms of my personal rings. Just going to set that to the side. So I kind of went in and changed a couple of things in here. The only thing that I've added to these pockets is I added a little food journal. Um, when I go to WIC, um, because we do get WIC overseas. So when I go to WIC, um, they like to uh, know what I'm eating. So I need to kind of follow a healthier guide than last time because last time I definitely ate um, whatever I can stomach. And I mostly craved red meat a lot when I was pregnant last. And I craved, um, I craved uh, noodles, ramen noodles. And those were literally like the only things I could stomach along with McDonald's. And I know that's not healthy. That's not good for you. So I will definitely be keeping a food journal. Um, as you can see, the size is a lot bigger. Uh, there's a lot more space. I can definitely use two pages per day. Um, I may be running out of this notebook faster, but I can always replace that. Um, this was fairly inexpensive notebook on Amazon, so I could always replace it, but I'm thinking this may be the size that I need. Um, I did create a little, well, like a pencil board, so to say, because I don't have one. And as you can see, if you like leave something up against this side, you really can't write on it. So I created a little pencil board so that I could write on this side. So that's what this is, and it just sits like in the middle of the book, really. Um, but let's get into what we really are here to discuss, and that is the changes that I am making to, or I've made to the Charm Life Planner. So as before, I had my writing up here. I kind of covered that up with some label stickers. Um, at first I used a regular, just white label, but you could still see my writing through it. So I went over it again with a like shinier label that I will just kind of stamp something in there. Um, and then again here, I use a decorative label. So that is that. Also, if you use like any markers on this planner, cause I think this is important for people who don't like, um, paper like this and this isn't like super super high quality paper it's just regular paper for you to use with a ballpoint pencil but if you don't like um bleed through or even a little bleed through i don't suggest using like um super pigmented markers maybe just use a highlighter and just go over something once don't like try to color in and go over something like twice because um, definitely you will see it through the sheet like right there that is like a little mark from marker um, I actually went through and changed my monthly layout as you can see it looks a lot different from the last time that I showed you the washi tape that I originally had in here as cute as it was it just was not staying down um, so I just took that off and put the owls down. I actually like the owls a lot better, to be honest with you. I also had my handwriting up here. I did the same thing with the, uh, label. Originally had a white label, but you could still see my handwriting through it. So I put down a, another, uh, like decorative label on it. And then I used these letter stamps, um, to kind of like put in like March, but I just abbreviate it. Um, this was not intentional. I did not intend to kind of just say or spell March like this. And I didn't intend for these borders, these square borders around the words, but I guess it was just how I pressed down and then also the spacing. So it's there. I can't change it. I refuse to change it. So it's there. It's done. Um, I took off the number stickers when I would run my hand across the page to kind of flatten this out and keep it straight because as you can see if you don't kind of like crease at this it will not stay exactly flat um, and 
if you kind of just, you know, like go to the back, it's going to close on itself. So um, I've been kind of just like creasing out these pages as I use them to try to get this to lay as flat as possible. But um, as you can see, doing that, you kind of run over those numbers if you're using like um, the number stickers that I had. Um, nothing against the sticker itself. They just didn't stay on the paper. They kind of just kept popping off and moved off. And so I just was like, okay, I'll just take them off and um, just put in the numbers. No big deal. So I just took my Sabulo pens and I just wrote in the numbers. Um, will I use number stickers again? Most likely, yes. Um, but maybe in stamp form, I might do it um, also because stickers just took a really, really long time. It took me an extremely long time to put them down in the first place. So that's that. Um, I did go ahead and fix the tracker because I'm pregnant now. Like I mentioned, I will be tracking a lot more things. Um, these are just some usual things that I usually track and these are just repeating itself. So it's just repeating itself, but it's just going by a uh, week. So um, these are just, like I, like I mentioned, these are just regular things that I track, but I've ordered something else that won't be here until Thursday. So that video won't be up until maybe Thursday night, Friday morning, my time. Um, so uh, that'll be part of my tracking system, my dailies. Um, as far as the weekly spread, so I only did this for one, and as you can see, it kind of, I don't know if you guys can really see too much, let me kind of just hold, maybe, I don't know, I'm on my windowsill because, um, this is the only lighting that I have, I don't know if you can kind of see that, but you can kind of see, like, my drawing, my marker, um, behind the page, so, um, I don't know if I'll do this all the time, but uh, I have this in here. And this was mainly me just trying to figure out how to really maximize these weekly spreads. Now, I am not extremely fond of a vertical layout. I've always used a horizontal layout, um, but I'm not, you know, new to the vertical layout. It's just a little tricky using it. What I don't like um, with the Charm Life Planner, and this is why I kind of bought something else um, in conjunction to this, but what I don't like is the fact that Saturday and Sunday are split. So if I decide to do these little weather and mood and dinner um, trackers in here for each day, you kind of lose space to write down like tasks for that day or things that you would like to remind yourself of for that day. So it's almost critical that you have something else in conjunction with this when you're using this particular planner. Because Saturday, if you're like someone who gets a lot of things done on a Saturday and Sunday, you're going to be really upset because there's not a lot of space for a Saturday and a Sunday in here to kind of, you know, write down a list of things like Monday through Friday is. Um, but yeah, that is the only other change that I made to this planner besides changing the monthly up a little bit. Um, I just put my regular water um, droplets with the weather in there. Um, I just do the same thing for each droplet. I don't try to write, um, or I don't try to really draw like rain droplets or anything like that. I just write what the weather is. And usually in my personal rings, I would write something like, it rained today or um, it was windy. I usually do that, but for the most part, there's not like a ton of space. So I just really need to write the temps in there. Um, if I'm using a daily spread, I can always, you know, elaborate what the weather was like. I also have the moods in here because like in the daily, um, I like to track the moods. I like to see what my mood is like. And lately I've been really, really, really tired and like out of breath, as you can probably tell. 
I'm out of breath right now <laughs> and I'm just talking but this is the only change that I've done um like I mentioned when Thursday gets here and I get the other notebook and I kind of get that one like all situated squared away I will um share that one with you all too but for the most part these are the only things that I have set up I do have my journal I haven't written in it in like a couple of days um it's kind of like my catch-all right now not a catch-all like a commonplace notebook I've been doing like a lot of glued in pages painted pages lots of that and when I don't feel like painting this is what it looks like um pages that don't make any sense at all like there's just random things happening this is the last page that I did and then there's nothing and I didn't even write on this page so that just tells you how I've been feeling these past couple of days but that's my journal um, and that's all that I have to share with you all for today. I hope the update was a good one. If you liked the video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. If you'd like to subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, it would be great to have you join the fam. And also, if you're returning back, welcome back. As always, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And you have a good rest of your Tuesday. Bye.